Hey, what's up guys and gals? It's Jason again with 615 Fishing. And I've got another trip for you. But first, if you're into fishing content of any kind, make sure to hit like and subscribe, ring the notification bell so you know when I put out new episodes and that type of thing. But as promised, in this episode, the third episode of 615 Fishing, I go fishing with a real live fishing hobo. <laughs> All right, we're back at it with another episode. And uh, this time we go to a really, really pristine place. And this video actually connects with a previous video where I talk about jumping fences and bushwhacking and doing some crazy stuff and sandals, which I'm not gonna do again. If you missed it, check out the episode. You'll understand what I'm talking about. But in this episode, I go fishing with a real live fishing hobo. And when I say that, I say that in the most friendly way. Uh, this guy I go fishing with is a fishaholic, to say the least. Uh, great guy, great fisherman. Uh, you know, he'd do anything for you. And he will put you on fish. He knows where the fish are. He knows where to go. And this time, we went to a really beautiful place. Now, we did have to park at somebody's house that we didn't know. We did have to jump fences and we did have to walk through a couple of fields to get there, but boy, was it worth it. I mean, this place was pristine. Now, if you're watching this in December, uh, because I'm really late putting videos out, but if you're watching this in December, you'll enjoy it because it was shot in July. So it's nice and sunny, beautiful, awesome top water action. We were catching fish all day long, but we start off in a low lying flat area that uh, you know the, the field just kind of runs off into the creek and it's a great place I mean if you were to see this you know from the back deck of a cabin you would want to live there this is the kind of place it was and uh, we did really well we started he, he said top water it's gonna be top water bite so we're chugging long chugging long you know oh I pulled it it was a little one walking the dog and uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful it's a creek. Sign. And immediately we start seeing top water action. We start seeing fish busting. And you can tell right away it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, a little one hit it. Beautiful, bright, clear skies. Very few clouds, but uh, we're out there. We're walking the dog and we're catching some small, small mountain you see here. <laughs> You're right, I got a little one. little bitty guy hitting this big old bait. But there's a whole lot more smallmouth in this yeah. specific creek. And I wish, wish, wish I could tell you where this creek is, but I'm afraid if I tell you, then uh, you might get in trouble with some farmer going through a field or something like that. And I don't want that to happen to you, all right? So uh, we move on, we go to a second spot, we find a bend in the creek, and immediately I hook up before I can even get my camera rolling. right there. Nah, he's not gonna go a pound. He's pretty though. And uh, nice little smallie, probably close to a pound, not quite. Right back to his spot. But a nice, healthy, healthy smallie. And all the time, my, my, my buddy fish, he's catching fish the entire time as well. He, I'll catch one, he catches one. I catch one, he catches one. Good show, huh? Smacked it like he had something to him. Oh, he wasn't coming off. That's a short one. You need pliers? No. Sure. There he goes. Yeah. I can pull a stick when I get it deep. And yeah, man. Show me what you got. Hey, little guy. It's video. Yeah. Excellent. Good job. Toss him. Thank you. 
how clear that water is. Yeah, did you see what I meant about catching that little three quarter pounder? My rod is all bent over, that's awesome, dude. If I catch a two pounder on this thing, it's gonna be like Moby Dick. Some of them are nice and some of them are tiny, but every single one of these fish we caught on top water. So we move on, we go around another bend and another bend, and it's just smallie after smallie after smallie after smallie, and it's just, just beautiful fish. I, matter of fact, I don't think we caught but one rock bass all day long. It was all smallmouth, it was all top water. Sometimes as soon as the bait would hit the water, boom, they're exploding on it. It was just amazing. And as usual, I didn't have enough batteries, so my camera didn't last as long as I needed them to. But go around the next bend, there's a lot of slab rock under the water. And it's shallow. I mean, it probably wouldn't even be up to your knees. But these fish are so healthy in this fishery, in this creek, that, I mean, it, this next one I got was just, just so nice. Real close to two pounds in a creek is a big deal. Oh, he's pulling drag. Yeah, dude, he's got this rod bent. Yep, slurped it. Yeah, I had to slow it down so he could come up and get it. That's a decent fish. Whoa. He's like, no, I want to go this way. Oh, yeah, that's a sweet little fish. Make that last little. That's a nice fish, boy. Here. That's a nice one. And I got a couple pictures of it. I tilt my hat up. You close, I know. No, you know, just getting it all in train. Thank goodness. Really, really nice fish. There he goes. Look how clear that water is. I know, he looks tiny, doesn't he? This is Seth from Hendersonville, Tennessee, and you're watching 615 Fishing. We keep going down the creek, keep going down the creek, smally, 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 just every time a, another little creek comes in or a, a feature, a log down or something like that, there's always a smallmouth in there. It was just that kind of day where you're throwing top water and you're just catching fish left and right. And there's nothing better in the middle of summer to be catching fish on top water. Go around another bend, another big fish, go around another bend, and then we had to take a break uh, for, for bathroom purposes because the, you know, the, the fishing hobo's got to go do his thing in the woods and whatnot. He, he didn't want to wait for the bathroom like I do. He's going to go do it in the woods and join us later. But we decided to turn around at some point and started going back. We found a really cool spot where there's cliffs coming down, a nice bluff. Whoa. Oh, there goes a big one right in front of me. I spooked him out. And a, a field right next to us, some horses were coming down to get water. It was it was just an amazing spot. And the smallmouth were just, they were lined up along the bluff and they were all over the middle of this bend. It was just amazing. So, you know, we're headed back and fish gets into a good one. And my, camp, my action camera's done. It's done, battery's done. There's no way I was gonna get any footage. So I'm fumbling for my camera real quick, get my camera and start shooting this thing. It was the best fish we'd had all day. Thank you, sir. You can get him in, you can get him in. Oh, here he is, here he is. Oh, I got him flipping. Stay on him. 
He's right here. He's right here. Bring him up. He's hooked good. Really, really nice fish. And we're using light gear, you know. I was throwing six pound mono. He was throwing a braid, but it was like a 10 and two. Uh, Power Pro, I believe, 10 pound to the size of a two pound. So he's got this fish on this 10 and two and he's bringing it in. You check it out right here. Yeah, you can. Woo! Bring it, bring it, bring it. Where is he? Oh, he's over here now. Oh, he's over there. Shoot. Yeah. Bring him in. Reel that sucker in. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, he is. That is a big smallmouth, bro. Gah! That is what we're looking for. Hold that sucker up. Hell yeah. Oh, we're weighing that. We're weighing that. Hold on. I got this covered. Shh, shh, don't say that I'm using this video. I'll bleep it out. All right, gotta do it yourself though. Don't do that, dude. You're insane. You're gonna lose that fish. Come on, pinch him and let's go. I'm gonna say two and a half. Easily two and a half. Just hold it, grab it like it's a handle and hold it up. Two seven. Two seven. That's a pretty fish for two seven. That's awesome, man. He come off that that big old tree down in the water. Pictures. All right, here we go. Hold him up one more time for video. Woohoo! Well, I have to be back if I'm gonna get you in it. Watch it. Nice. So, like I said, beautiful fish. Let's get the release of this guy. Fishing on a creek with a fishing hobo, they want to stay on the water all the time. A fishing hobo will get up in somebody's field, sleep under a tree, and go back out fishing the next day. And I wasn't willing to do that. I was ready to go. I had been there all day. I knew I had a sunburn. You know about that from the last episode. Uh, so it was just time to go. It, it was a wonderful day. We had a pretty good drive back. But uh, great day of fishing great day of smallmouth these tennessee creeks are just amazing to me and there's nothing better than creek fishing in july in a perfect creek like this so if you get the chance to hit a creek you know somebody you know an access point go do it man creeks are the bomb so we caught some really nice fish and we caught some really dinky fish but the whole day was full of smallmouth full of fish after fish after fish all on top water so it was a wonderful wonderful day uh, so 
that's going to do it for this episode. Don't forget, we're doing. I'm doing the uh, the giveaway. I've got the lure lock hat and the, and the decal here that we're giving away. And I'm going to add to that one of my favorite lures for multi species. Bobby Garland. I think it's the slab hunter. So the beauty about this slab hunter is it acts like a swim bait, and um, it's got just enough chunk on it, just enough weight, just enough meat on this thing that you could catch anything from a big bluegill and some nice, nice crappie to bass, striper even, uh, smallmouth hit this thing. It's amazing. I think I've caught at least eight different species on this bait. So this is going to be part of the package. The way to get this and the hat and the decal is to subscribe to the channel. So I'd love to have you. I'm going to be posting more video content, more fishing content, even through the winter, because I've got some turn back time stuff um, from 2019 even, even farther back than that, uh, that I'll be posting, along with some reviews and some other things. But subscribe to the channel and you will be automatically entered. And once I get up to my goal, which is 100 subscribers, once I get to 100 subscribers, I'm gonna pull from the subscriber list and do a package giveaway. So I hope you do that, I hope you stick with me. and. Uh, Next time, I'm going to hit the salt water, so stay tuned for that one. We'll see you next time on 615 Fishing.